Hey there guys and gals, it's me Norex and welcome back to Beginner C++ Programming. So in the last video we talked a little bit, a little bit about logical and comparison operators. Now I know this wasn't there but uh, this was supposed to be in the if video but um, just doing that would, be, would make a super long video so I decided I would separate this into two videos okay if and logical operators and comparison operators this video was 17 minutes as is so yeah but it's a requirement for if statements so even if I would put that in here this is a topic that had to be covered anyways in today's video we will be talking about if statement now in the lifetime you know in the span of the life of a program there's always a time, you know, there always comes a time where the program or the app has to make a great choice, okay? And in that choice, it decides what to do after it's made that choice. So let's draw some diagrams here to see exactly how that works, all right? I'm just going to draw some basic flowcharts. You know, don't really wonder about them if you don't know what they are. It's it's cool, all right? You don't you don't really need to know them, all right? And and I'm just yeah, when not using shift, I draw like this. Okay, so the program starts, you know, somewhere here. You know, it starts here. It starts or start. It goes here, does some operations, ops, and then gets to the choice. You know, it gets to make the choice. Now, when it wants to make a choice, it definitely has a condition. It checks the condition, you know, and then it makes its choice. If the condition is true, the computer, the compiler, the app, the whatever you want to call it, will go this way. If it's false, it'll go this way. Now here's the thing. It doesn't really matter. It's not like a standard to whenever you drawing flowcharts. This is not always true. This is false. Okay, you can do whatever the hell you want. You can just say like this is true and you know this is false. You could just be an idiot with the flowcharts, but yeah, you know, you can, you can point that arrows, you know, out of these guy from anywhere you want. Anyhow, so when checking the condition, the computer then decides which path it should take. The app then decides which path it should take. Don't worry, it's not smart. It's not an AI. It doesn't really decide. You know, if it's true, it'll go this way. If it's false, it's go. It'll go that way. For instance, if you give it an age, the age of a kid who's 15, you know, can he drink? Well, if it's true then it'll go this way. But can he drink can be evaluated in, into, is he older than 21? Is he? No. So we're going to go the false way. Can he drive? Well, still no. So we're going to go the false way. So based on the condition we put here, the computer can then, or rather the app, the computer, I'm talking like a fucking 80 year old. So the computer can actually, god damn it, the app can change, uh, can choose a path based on you know the what's what's happening here okay anyhow we've already seen what it's all about now let's get into the code and you know get out of the boring stuff okay so in the code it's already called the if statement now the better name to call it is the conditional okay this is a candidate for the conditional statements statement there we go conditional statements the first one is if. Don't worry, there are a lot more. I'm not done with you yet. There's if, there's switch, while, do while, for, you know, all that good stuff. So the first one, and probably the most important one, is the if, if case. Or if case, God damn it, no. If statement. Now, if statement is quite simple. As you already saw, the computer gets into a choice, gets to make a choice. If it's true, it'll go some way. If it's false, it'll go the other way. Now, the way to create that choice is quite simple. First off, we need a condition. Let's put it to false first. Or, it doesn't really matter, let's put it to true. Now, we need to check to see if the condition is true, if you want to do something. Let's say we have a kid who has the age of, let's say, I don't know, 17, right? God damn it. All right, so int age equals 17, right? Now let's say if we want to check to see if the kid can drink. If age equals or age is greater than 16, greater than or equal to 16, so we make an if 
open and close parentheses, then we make whatever condition we want right here. So our condition, our boolean cont here, will get right into this guy right here. Now, I just opened it here, but I can just simply say cont and come here and say cont equals this guy. So, is age greater than or equal to 16? If it is, then cont will be equal to true. If it's true, then we will go right here into this block of if, into the if scope. So this guy's right here, you know, wherever you see these guys, when they're in the same row, they're called a scope. Okay, you can close and open the, the, the scope wherever you want, so yeah. So if the condition applies, if it's true, we will get into the block of if, if cond is true, okay? Now I can just simply tap it like that, it doesn't really matter. Same thing as doing it like this. So cond if cond or if condition equal equal to true. Same thing, diff name, you don't need to do that. So if condition is true, this will happen. If it's not true, we will jump right here. If, well, mm, not really, when the if ends. Okay, so if the condition is true, we'll go here, we'll execute every single statement within the block. When it's finished, we will jump back out of the F to the first line we'll see. But if it's not true, we will just skip this whole thing and jump right here. And that's basically how the if statement work, works. So if age is equal to 16, I'm just going to take out the cond and put it right here. Okay, I don't want this variable there. If age is more than 16, or equal to 16, let's print you can drive. What the hell is wrong with me today? Oh, seriously. There we go. So, you can drive. Simple, easy, you know, lemon goddamn squeezy. If statement ended right now or if it ended right now ends here there we go and we, with an end l we just go to the next line and there we goddamn go so, okay so let me just put a breakpoint right here and you can see that uh, when i run this age is already 16 so it's going to give me you can drive okay it, we need 16 or more age is 17 so i can drive if i put something like 15 here God damn it, not 16. I need 15, bro. Come on. Or 13. Who the hell cares? So if the age is thir 13, you just see if statement ends here. And you just see this dude right here. You don't, you don't see this guy. You just see this dude right here. Anyhow. So that's the basics of all the basic if statements. Okay? Now, let's just say the age is 18. Okay? Um... Or the age is 17, as usual. Now, you can also use or and and here. Okay, like and and, you know, two of these pipelines, it's or. Okay, not and and. So, this guy is an or. You can say if age is equal to 16 or if age is equal to, or I don't know, equal to like 17. So, either one of them should be true or that's kind of stupid. So, if like you're 2 or 16, right? if you're more than 2 or if you're 16, if I if I'm already two, then I can drive. If I if I grow older into three, then I can't drive. And I'm stupid like that. Anyhow, it was just a very dumb example of the uh, or statements, you know, inside this or operator inside this guy. Anyways, that's just the basic form of if. Now there are a couple of more types. Okay, two more types. The first one is this guy. So an if inside another if if age is more than 18 now. So is it more than 16? All good, all dandy. Is it more than 18 though? Is it more than 20? In another if. So this is the basic use case of, you know, if. If you if you want to do something like this, this is the way to do it. Like another if and this if. Or you could just, you know, just not be an idiot and do something like that. Or just do it outside. It really doesn't matter what you do, but yeah, this is, this is, you, you just can do this if you want to. It's not like a very common way of using an if statement, but it's there. You know, it's one of, the, one of the things in your toolkit. You can use this guy like this if you want to as well. 
So if the age is you know equal to two, I'm sorry, if the age is <laughs> equal to or greater than 16, you, you go do that. Now if it's more than 18, then you can do something else. If, it, if it's more than 21, then you can do something else. So and that's basically it. So these are called the nested ifs. Nested ifs. So basically, whenever you put something in a scope, that, that thing will become nested in that scope. Okay, so nested ifs. We also have nested fours, nested, you know, whiles, nested whatever. So this is a nested if. Not ifs, it's just one if. Okay, now here's another thing. Let's talk about this statement. Else if age is less than 16. Or less than, let's say, 8, for instance. So if age is more than 16, you do something like this. If age is less than 8, you do something right here. Now, you may wonder, we could have just simply done this, you know, write two ifs, not do this stupid shit that we do here. What's the point of putting an else here? It's just, you know, extra, extra hard work. But here's the answer. So whenever you're running this, you know, there's just one age, they're bo both working on one condition. You actually get to this line, you know, you execute this guy right here, you put two to this guy. You come here, you see, okay, this is false, we don't care about that, this is false, we don't care about that, you know, you just go like that. But let's say if this guy was 17, okay? So you come here, let's actually put that, yeah, actually, no, not really. So, age is 17, you check this guy, it's true, you go in, you do whatever you want. You come out of the if, what happens? The first line after the end of the block gets executed. So this guy begins checking the condition. If it's true, if it applies, it goes here, does whatever it wants to do. Now here's the thing. The age has already been checked. There's no need to go over this one again. Now imagine if you had like 50 if statements over, you know, just like a ladder. So it's not a really good idea to, to do that, you know, to just put 70 ifs, you know, uh, after each other. 70 times, they're going to be checked 70 times while, they're, while you can do it in another way. So if you put an else statement here, the, things that, the thing that's going to happen is that it's going to check this guy. If it's this guy, we're going to go here. Okay, if, if this applies, we will, this will happen. And the first line that we will have executed after the if statement will be here. Okay, so if this guy applies, we won't check for this anymore. It helps with optimization. And uh, it's a better, better, you know, standard. So always do that. Never, never just, if you don't have to do this, don't do this. If you can do this, do it. Now, that's basically all there is to else if. There's nothing more. So the only way we use it is because we don't want to check everything else. You know, just check this guy, check this guy, check this guy. You know, just go down checking every single if. We use else if when we check one if. If it's if it applies, the all you know all the other else if guys are gonna just be gone. Now here's the thing. You can have as many else ifs as you want. So you know, one here. You know, else if, another one here, so imagine if you had a lot of these, now that would help a lot with optimization if for instance this was the right condition, so this was wrong, this was right, and because this is right, we will just skip all these guys and go to the next line that becomes, you know, that appears after the entire block of ifs. Okay, this is just one single thing with if statements. Now, here's the thing about if. Um, here's another thing, actually, about if. We have another key f word called the, the else keyword. So, else happens when nothing of the above, when none of the above applies. Okay, so if is age more than 16, is age less than 8, is, you know, blah, blah, whatever. If all of these guys return false, if nothing happens with any of these guys, if, if, the, if the condition doesn't apply for all of the ifs and else ifs above it, I'm sorry, the if and all the else ifs. So there's one if, one else, okay, one, one else for one if. If all of this guy, if all of these guys fail, then else will happen. So all of these guys failed, this guy will happen, and then we go back out of here.
Now, here's the thing. You can, again, have if statements inside these guys. You know, age is you know, more than 10. Do whatever you want with them. So, you can, again, have these nested ifs. You can have else if for the nested ifs. I'm just, just using age for... I don't know why. But, yeah. So, basically, you can use whatever you want within the scopes. Nested ifs inside another if and then you know in the in the else statement we also have more ifs so this is basically the bare bone of beginning to become a real programmer and uh yeah so that's basically what i want i mean that's basically it so now what i want you to do is that you know this is this is going to be your first homework tutorial you know the first uh training the first thing that you should do now, what I want you to do is actually quite simple. So, what I want you to do is you import this guy right here. I want you to have two numbers, like A and B, right? Uh, let's not do it like that. You could, you could but we, we, we don't do that like that. So, A and B. You take them from the input, which is quite simple, which is, you know, CN. I'm just giving you a little bit of hint. And uh, you check with the if statements to see which one is the bigger number. Okay, it's quite simple. Just do that, and uh, we'll see you in the next one with the uh, with the answer of that this tutorial. It's quite simple. Just you know, check to see if A is bigger than B. Print A. If B is bigger than A, print A. You know, just check to see which one's bigger. Anyhow, which ones has the bigger value? Okay, whatever. Stop being funny. So uh, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, maybe leave a comment. If you really enjoyed it, do subscribe to the channel. It will help a lot. And uh, see you in the next one.